Section One of the Works of Edgar Allan Poe, Raven Edition, Volume Four. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Megan Argo. The Devil in the Belfry by Edgar Allan Poe. What o'clock is it? Old saying. Everybody knows, in a general way, that the finest place in the world is, or alas, was, the Dutch borough of Vandervoortimeters. Yet, as it lies some distance from any of the main roads, being at a somewhat out-of-the-way situation, there are perhaps very few of my readers who have ever paid it to visit. For the benefit of those who have not, therefore, it will be only proper that I should enter into some account of it, and this is indeed the more necessary, as with the hope of enlisting public sympathy in behalf of the inhabitants, I design here to give a history of the calamitous events which have so lately occurred within its limits. No one who knows me will doubt that the duty thus self-imposed will be executed to the best of my ability, with all that rigid impartiality, all that cautious examination into facts, and diligent collation of authorities, which should ever distinguish him who aspires to the title of historian. By the united aid of medals, manuscripts, and inscriptions, I am enabled to say, positively, that the borough of Vondervoortimeters has existed from its origin in precisely the same condition which it at present preserves. Of the date of this origin, however, I grieve that I can only speak with that species of indefinite definiteness which mathematicians are, at times, forced to put up with in certain algebraic formulae. The date, I may thus say, in regard to the remoteness of its antiquity, cannot be less than any assignable quantity whatsoever. Touching the derivation of the name von der Wartimeters, I confess myself, with sorrow equally at fault, among a multitude of opinions upon this delicate point some acute, some learned, some sufficiently the reverse, I am able to select nothing which ought to be considered satisfactory. Perhaps the idea of Grogswig, nearly coincident with that of Krauterplenty, is to be cautiously preferred. It runs, Vonder Vatimitis, Vonder Legadonda, Vatimitis, Quasi und Bletzis, Bletzis Obsol, Pro Blitzen. This derivative, to say the truth, is still countenanced by some traces of the electric fluid evident on the summit of the steeple of the house of the town council. I do not choose, however, to commit myself on a theme of such importance, and must refer the reader, desirous of information, to the Oratiunclae de Rebus Praetor Veteris of Dundergutz. See also Blunderbuzzard de Derivationibus, pages 27 to 5010, folio, Gothic edition, red and black character, catchword and no cipher, wherein consult also marginal notes on the autograph of Stuffenpuff, with the sub-commentaries of Grunt and Guzzle. Notwithstanding the obscurity which thus envelops the date of the foundation of Vondervoortimeters and the derivation of its name, there can be no doubt. Sample complete. Ready to continue? <laughs> 